Welcome to this tutorial on how to mine with your graphics card. We'll be using NiceHash and the reason for NiceHash is that it's an algorithm or a program designed to always run or always mine the most profitable coin with your graphics card. As you can see there are many many different algorithms and coins out there but uh, the, the profitability of mining a particular one is a combination out of the current price and how many other people are mining it, so essentially your ratio of the total network. Now this is where NiceHash comes in and it calculates for you what the most profitable mining uh, algorithm is at the moment. So how to mine with this? We'll first prepare for mining by creating a, a blockchain wallet. If you already know, are familiar with Bitcoin, you probably have either an account here or another wallet system at your disposal. So to create a wallet is super straightforward. You essentially just go to the website, it's blockchain.info, click on create wallet, you put in your email and a password and a wallet will be generated. Uh, I did this already, so I will just log into my usual wallet. All right, so this is how the wallet looks inside of blockchain. We'll come back to this later. Next, we will go to NiceHash and download the software required. So we want to sell our hashing power. So hashing is the name of the process to calculate for the decentralized networks. And we go to download the NiceHash miner. We want to download it for Windows. And one thing to note is the programs we are downloading right now uh, are essentially the the algorithms behind particular coins and one of the things which was quite common in the last few years is that these algorithms have been included with viruses and trojans and uh, etc malware um, which has been distributed around the world so there's a fairly good chance that your virus software will recognize these as a threat even though they definitely are not you don't have to worry about this being a virus as long as you download it from the original website. So after we download this file, uh, because of the virus thing, we <laughs> want to make sure to put it into the right folder. So I go to my downloads folder, I pick out the software that we just, the zip file that we just downloaded, then go to the folder that you want to save your uh, software at, and in here, you press then extract files. So the reason for only extracting uh, your, your files at the target location is that the virus software will probably now go search uh, or like detect the uh, software in here, which is particularly the CC minor SP and several others it considers to be malware, which they are not. So we just wait for the virus software to detect them and then we can exclude them from, uh, from our virus search. When you open up uh, the NiceHash exe for the first time, by the way, that's all the installation there is. You just essentially download a zip file, put it in your location and extract it. It, it should now detect all the hardware on your computer. In this case, I'm using uh, two GTX 970 uh, G1 gigabyte WinForce graphics cards. Uh, for mining. My CPU, as you can see, is unchecked. Uh, you can check it if you want, but uh, usually it will not produce more than a few cents a day, which is in general less than the electricity power uh, costs that it consumes. So once uh, we open up the software now for the first time, uh, we want to fill in the required information. So we go to our Bitcoin, our blockchain wallet, and we click on receive and this essentially generates a Bitcoin address where you can receive Bitcoin at. So we copy this address to the NiceHash miner over here. And this is now set up to be mining into this Bitcoin address. Next, we shall go to settings. And uh, in this case, my graphics cards run on NVIDIA 5. Uh, it might be NVIDIA 3 or 2 in your case, depending on your graphics card. And one thing we want to do is set an intensity parameter. 
So in this case, I want to run it at an intensity of 17, um, usually settings between like 15 and 21 are uh, recommended. What this does is de it determines the size of the byte of work that the graphics card is getting at a time. You can kind of imagine it like the size of the spoon you use to eat your soup. The bigger the spoon, the more food you get at a certain time. But since your mouth stays constant, uh, it takes longer to finish a particular spoon. So you don't want to eat the soup with a well giant spoon and you neither want to eat it with a teaspoon. But at somewhere in between is the perfect size. So it might take a little bit of uh, adjustment. Try different uh, intensity values till you're happy. Uh, essentially, if the intensity is too high, uh, the remainder of your computer will be laggy. And the goal is, of course, to run this mining in the background so you barely notice it at all and can still do all the other things you usually do in the, well, with your computer. If you want, you can select your currency, I like Euro, and save and close. Now, NiceHash Miner will restart. And so once the settings of NiceHash are set, we want to go to Benchmark and let our graphics card run through all the different algorithms to determine the speed it runs on each particular algorithm. Uh, this speed, together with the price that is currently uh, well offered on NiceHash, if we go to NiceHash, we can see uh, an overview of the different algorithms and the, the pay or the current profitability. Uh, so the price times your speed will give you the profitability in the end. So we let this run and then we come back later when it's all calculated. Okay, so the uh, benchmarking has concluded. And as you can see, there are two algorithms in my case which did not work. This one is for Ethereum and this one is NeoScript. If there's an algorithm which shows zero or weird speeds, you just uncheck it and then it will be excluded from running on your system. Now what you can do is check profitability to have a, a basic idea of how much money you will actually make with this. So in this case, uh, it's quite profitable. Uh, as I said before, I'm running two GTX 970 graphics cards, which cost me about uh, 420 euros to buy. And uh, luckily I live in a student complex in which electricity is not billed to me. So my power can stay at zero since it's not a expense. So uh, as you can see, the uh, profitability at the moment will result in a return on investment within 150 days. That is actually quite decent compared to other investments you can make nowadays. After the benchmark has been completed, we check the uh, profitability, we decide we want to mine. Uh, a few options I can recommend is auto start mining as well as hide mining windows and minimize to tray. Uh, these three will essentially make sure that NiceHash will start mining as soon as the program is started, uh, which allows you to put a shortcut to it in the startup folder of Windows. Now the miner is running in the background, and when do you get paid? Uh, the system of NiceHash is that once your balance of mining gets greater than 0 0.001 Bitcoin, uh, it will pay out once every week. Um, this happens on Saturday, so the reason for this is to uh, be able to bundle all of the payments NiceHash has to make and this reduces the amount of fees they have to pay for the network, which essentially means that more of the money you mine goes to you instead of as fees uh, being lost in the transaction. So I hope this tutorial was a nice introduction to understand how NiceHash works. And if you run into issues with your graphics card not showing up in the NiceHash window, uh, it's most likely related to a driver issues. What you can do is download the CUDA toolkit. This solves most of the problems and also make sure your drivers are always up to date and you're also using the most recent version of NiceHash. I hope this helped. Uh, good luck mining. Thanks for watching.